All right, we are recording. Cool. Well, welcome back, everybody. It's been uh, a hot few months since you were last listening to this podcast. I am your host, Dana Coleman from Managed by Stats. Today, we have with us Stephen Pope from My Amazon Guy. Hey, thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Glad to have you, buddy. Uh, so the last time I saw you, well, I was, we were at Prosper Show, but it was like, oh, hey, how you doing? Good. Okay, goodbye. Uh, <laughs> two, two minutes person. That's all you have time for when you go to Prosper. <laughs> yeah, if that even. Um, and then and then about 12 minutes of sleep, right? Yes. Um, yes. It was, yeah, it was good seeing you down in Florida. The Tampa Bay community has an amazing group of sellers down there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've got we've got pretty pretty decent. I have to say, pretty decent density, uh, seller density around here, and and some very very big sellers at that. One of the top 100 Amazon sellers is part of the Tampa Bay community. So I, I went down and saw the crew down there and and spoke and did a did a Q and A with you guys, mm -hmm. and uh, that was lots of fun. Yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, he's actually a top 50. Top 50. Well, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. And I that's I, that's a lot of units moving. Yeah, and you would think, okay, top fifty, top one hundred. You're like, okay, cool. But when what what's Amazon doing? Like eighteen, thirteen billion dollars a year or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, Anyhow. the drop in the bucket. But yeah, exactly. Amazon's half the economy for sure. Yeah. Everybody always likes to talk about how evil Amazon is, and they are. Jeff Bezos going to get off the rock, whatever. He's going to leave us behind. But but yeah. like, uh, I bite the hand that feeds me, but I also. I like being pet by that hand. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I mean, I so uh, my wife and I started selling in 2010, and particularly ever since gating came in, that's when we started having trouble. Um, before that, it was just have a picture up there and make money and go travel, right? But then gating came in, and after selling something for like four years, they're like, "Hey, you can't sell that." I'm like. What are you talking about? You don't. You just started working here, you know. <laughs> um, and I've been doing this for years. You, I know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh my um, gosh! Yeah, and then when they, they made every all the supplement companies use the same sort of process, and it's like there's six ways to do these tests, and you're only going to allow one of them. Cool. All right, the whole industry is affected. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally. I sell supplements. That's what we've been doing for since 2010. So what is that? All, uh, 11, 11 and some change. And then and then things like pesticides gating comes up and you're like, what the frick? <laughs> like, what the heck is going on over yeah. at Amazon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling it's one of those scenarios where one person screwed it up for everybody, you know? Or maybe two people. Well, more, I mean, I mean, when I see big things like this, I, I think it's more like probably the government like sues mm -hmm. them or like starts doing so much paperwork. Amazon just has to <laughs> acquiesce or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, like the FDA probably did something. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And they're definitely they're definitely on the up and up for sure. So, uh, cool. So, uh, what do you want to talk about today? Um, I know you actually let me correct me if I'm wrong. You're nearing a thousand videos on YouTube. You have 30,000 brands that you manage. It's 200, 200 brands that you manage, something like that. <laughs> yes. No, 200. Yes. Okay. Um, and you've got uh, about 200 employees. Yes. All, all of these stats, these are awesome. You must be like a managed by stats guy or something. Yeah. I, I, I look at statistics occasionally. It's true. Um, I don't remember them mostly, so I'm actually surprised I got them right. <laughs> <laughs> must must be because I'm posting every day on LinkedIn about these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I you know before we ever met, I definitely run across your videos to to have specific problems solved. That's what I like about your videos is that you solve a problem or you teach a thing. You know, they're not terribly long, and and they're they're not filled with fluff. I don't like fluff unless it's in my pillow. And even then, I don't really like that much fluff. I pitched a pillow company today. Uh, nice. So so yeah, I mean, I used to be a television reporter yeah. and I, I shot multiple videos a day and, and you only had 30 seconds in some cases and the most like a minute and a half to tell a story. Mm. It's like, well, how the frick do you tell a story in 90 seconds? Well after doing that 1000 times, it's just kind of ingrained in you and you can't not do it anymore. Yeah. 
And so and every time I shoot a video, like my average video is probably like five to seven minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in, I'm out. And, and that's actually not good for YouTube because on YouTube, they want you to get the content to be long form and continuously watched. And so what? I'm actually hurting myself by having shorter videos. But don't yeah. they want, uh, okay, let's actually go into this a little bit uh, uh, because YouTube is, it, videos is huge. It's huge on Amazon now, right? Yeah. So uh, as, you're, as you're actually, an, I would consider you uh, an expert or expertish, ex expertise-ish with uh, YouTube and their algorithms I, and yes, stuff? Yes, yes, I am. I've studied it. I'm, so I have a lot of search engine optimization background. Yeah. Um, and so algorithm studying is definitely like my cup of tea. Okay. Um, so if you put me in a room with a thousand people, there is almost a hundred percent chance I'm going to be the most driven person in the room. Okay. And yeah. probably a 98% chance I'm going to be the most introverted in the room. Okay. And this is confusing to people because they're like, how can you be introverted and have a thousand videos on YouTube? But no, no, seriously, like introverts are way better at presentation. Mm. It's the extroverts that are good at engagement. Yes, yes, and yes, so, that makes sense. So for me as the super introvert and highly driven person, everything is a data point. Like I'm the most deductive person in my entire network. And so like relationship building, worst person in the room. At, <laughs> but in terms of data analysis, I can boom, boom, let's go. Right. And so algorithms uh, are my people. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Good. Well, let's make the podcast about this because this is something that I think that a lot of brands, uh, if they haven't already started moving towards, are definitely going to want to. Not just and and I don't mean that I don't mean YouTube only specifically, uh, but I mean video in general. So let's talk a little bit about that. And um, sure. And, and one thing that, that I, I have, correct me if I'm wrong, and tell me what you think about this, but I have a theory uh, that I proposed many years ago, and that is that Amazon will always follow in the footsteps of Google because Google did it first and figured it out in most cases, many cases, figured it out, figured it out correctly. And Amazon's going to go through the same growing pains. So I've seen a lot of instances where the algorithms on Amazon uh, eventually, you know, years behind and sometimes less now, start matching or are very similar to Google's al algorithms. What do you think? I would say from a digital standpoint, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, but the one thing that Amazon solved that Google hasn't ever tried to solve was physical infrastructure. Of course, yes. It, and so with that in mind, there's a little bit of a lens to how they're doing digital right they they're thinking omni channel they're thinking about like okay when you go into that grocery store and you're looking at that hot sauce bottle and you, you're looking at like okay is this thing good i don't know let me go look it up on amazon right yeah. like now amazon's the number one place people look for a product that yep. changed about five years ago it used to be google and so Amazon has passed Google from a product standpoint, no sure. doubt about it. Of course, of course. But when we look at uh, all the things that are going on the Amazon platform and the search algorithm, you know, just in the last 48, 72 hours, we've seen them add a second video ad into search results. Mm. We've seen them over the last couple of months add video ads into listings. It's in beta, so you don't see it very much. They're yeah. testing it out. Yeah. And, and we've seen them change how photos look. We've seen them how they position the ads. They're out of space on the search algorithm, quite yes. frankly, with PPC costs are up 35% year over year. Yep. And so, so when we talk about video and YouTube, there's an inevitability that video is going to increasingly become more important. You take a platform like TikTok and garbage platform. Don't let your kids on there. It's full of like porn videos left and right. Oh, is it? But never even but, opened uh, it. <laughs> yeah, and my my three year old's going to make a cameo here. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> She's sick. Hey, and is watching the show. Give me give me twenty seconds. I need yeah, to yeah. turn a show back off. Yeah, for cool. It. No problem. In the meantime, I'll do a little commercial for Managed by Stats since uh, he has to run and take care of the kids, which we all support, of course, and totally understand because I've got a couple of my own, and they're also a little bit sick. Uh, so just to give you uh, an idea of what Managed by Stats is, if you're not familiar with it, is a platform used to figure out your profits, to know your numbers, and then to be able to use those numbers to manage your business. And 
There are plenty. Don't get me wrong. Oh, Steve's Steven's back. All right, good. Commercial over. The right card. I didn't pick the right cartoon though. She's, uh. Uh, but my wife heard her and she's running down. I have four <laughs> kids, six and under. My personal yes. motto is live long and prosper in all ways. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, I have two kids so far and, uh, and I don't think we're done. Hey, well just practice, you know, pulling out of your driveway. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the best way. So, <laughs> Um, so which commercial did you go with? <laughs> I just started telling people about managed by stats and what its purpose was, but you cut me off by coming back. So it's fine. It's fine. All right. Perfect. <laughs> well, people check out managed by stats. Pretty cool platform. Thank you. I agree. Not that I'm biased, which I am. I, I can't tell. It's not the hat. Definitely not the shirt or nope. the logo, but <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so, yeah, go so ahead. YouTube video, Twitch, right? Like I, I made it, I was the first one on the internet to say that Amazon was going to use Twitch to push video ads for Amazon products. I didn't even and know that they were doing that. The, it's, it's not, it's not really a well-known thing yet, but it's happening. Okay. Right. And, and so as we see these platforms evolve, video content's getting better and better. We're all photojournalists. We all have 10 pixel phones in our pockets. Video creation is just nonstop. Yeah. You know, my my right hand man Dustin uh, is out ch chasing tornadoes uh, in the last day. His in Tennessee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he's insane. Uh, so, anyway, <laughs> so I was thinking to myself this morning, and I was like, you know, I really like being home in my pajamas. Mm -hmm. right? I, I like wearing my designer sweatpants to work. You know. Yep. <laughs> so. <laughs> you can't but even tell, but I'm I'm not even wearing pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I should. Let me show you the sign. So, <laughs> so this I keep this on my desk. This was a joke my wife gave me. Sure, sure I'm, I'm totally wearing pants <laughs> for this meeting for yeah. this video call. So yeah. yeah, that's on my desk. Yep, awesome. Um, but yeah, so he's going out and looking at all these tornadoes, and he's a weather junkie, and he tracks them. And I'm just like, man, alive. Just show me a couple of gifts on Reddit, and I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> like, like show me the little twirl that shows on the ground. You know, cool. Twister was a weird, interesting movie. There's some F5s <laughs> out there, ter terrifying. I lived yeah. in Oklahoma for a year, and I don't recommend that. Um, Tornado Alley, if there ever was one. Mm -hmm. But but video is so important. Um, you know, we're I, I, I was pitching this pillow company today that I mentioned, yep. and it was for kids' pillows. Mm -hmm. And I said, so do you have any video of kids fighting with the pillows? And he's like, what? And I'm like, no, seriously, I, I would like to see a pillow fight with the kids. He's like, well, kind of the branding we're we're trying to pull off here is more of a, a, a nice and easy bedtime routine. You get these nice kids pillows. They have like a monkey on them or another stuffed animal framework of some kind. Mm -hmm. And it makes it easier because they have their buddy and they can go to sleep. And I said, yeah, OK, I get, I get that. It's, it's pretty good branding. But if you want to sell to dads, we want to beat our children with pillows. <laughs> <laughs> So video content can do a lot of things and video ads on the Amazon platform, right? You can get a 15, 20 second video ad shot with minimal effort and boom, it's off to the races. Yep. Yep. Interesting. Okay. So, all right, let's go down. Let's go down the path of most. Let's do this. Let's take a scenario, right? <clears throat> I have an iPhone which you just heard go off, of course, accidentally, because I forgot to. Anyhow, I have an iPhone, right? I want to do a video for my listing, right? And one thing that I hate as an Amazon buyer is when I go to a product listing and they have the product on a turntable and it turn the product turns around. The 360 view. The it's 360 available in about view. three or four main categories. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about a video of that. Like that's okay. That's, so that's, just just put just put the uh, the item on like a turnkey and it's just yeah rotating. And they okay. have overly loud music, right? <laughs> so I they hate didn't that. pay for the they didn't pay for the voiceover. They didn't put any text on the video, nothing. Right. What okay. so now I know the answer to this, uh, but what what is what is the scenario? What would a person do? They have an iPhone, or they have a Galaxy S thirty eight. Um, how are they going to create a video for their Amazon brand? 
Easy. Pull out the phone, mm -hmm. have one person open the item up. So in my hands, for those that are watching on YouTube, I have a box and I'm going to open it up and it's going to yep. be messy, right? So this is my mom box. If you want to see the product on Amazon, go to amazon.com slash age of sage. In here, there's a bunch of fluff, right? You can hear the fluff in the radio there, right? <laughs> Thank and, you for that. <laughs> and, and so like it's a lot of big sound right now. Let me, put, let me put the fluff on my head. I've got less hair than I have fluff now. Uh, comes with a mom card, right? Notice how when I'm opening this up, I can see I've got a tumbler, I've got soap. I can then crinkle the wrapper here, get, get a little nap, nap pop. Oh, that right? sounds good. Yeah, I got a bath bomb. I don't know how to make sound with that one. Right? <sighs> and then I've got uh, a, a, a bottle of lotion. By the way, when we were making this lotion, let me tell you, the the pistons were firing off and it looked like a teenager's bedroom had exploded. Uh, so just be careful when you're manufacturing lotion, just, just saying. So, so we have, a, uh, <laughs> we have a lot of things you can do when you want to make a video, right? Like you yeah. can take a box and just simply unbox it. Yep. That's the video. Huge, Why huge YouTube videos. There are people that are sensations on YouTube that all they do is unboxings. And, and, and this is exactly what I've done on my listings, right? My wife, who's got beautiful hands, will open the box. She'll even talk to herself on occasion if I motivate her, tickle her a little bit. And, and then she'll open the box and I've got the camera and I'm taking different angles and I'm zooming in and, and, and I just show. And why does this work? Because an unboxing video gives you banana for scale. Mm -hmm. It gives you the concept of what am I actually getting? Because those nice Photoshopped images they, they don't feel real. Right. Right. But what feels real is when I can open the real product and see it and mm -hmm. see hands next to it and showing me interact with the product. Right. And so there's certain, I think there's like two types of products in the world. I can bucket. I'm a very binary person. Talk about being Mr. Spock and data guy, mm -hmm. right? On the right, you have mm -hmm. uh, me too products or demand co-opt. These are products like the Jungle Scout, uh, you know, million dollar study where they went and did bamboo sticks and the market had like 24 inch bamboo sticks and they came out with 36 and then they made a million dollars. Yeah. Right? Me too, slightly improved demand co-op. On the left, you have demand gen or generation. These are the products that require a Billy Mays to sell. The success chances of a me too product on the right, one out of three. For every three products you launch, one of the three is going to work. That's Pretty not good bad, odds. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Not not bad. And this this is me as an Amazon expert. These are my own odds. But I think anybody listening at home can match those odds. I don't think you need to be an Amazon expert to get one out of three, right? Okay. But yep. out of those three, one will be a flat out bomb you're going to lose money on. Mm -hmm. One will break even. And the third will be exceptional or better, right? Hopefully. Okay. okay. But going back to the left where we have demand gen, for every... 20 products that launch or even 30 products that launch one will succeed mm -hmm. this is the sliced bread before anybody knows sliced bread is the best thing since sliced bread mm -hmm. and, and fun fact it took 13 years for sliced bread to, to catch actually on. catch on yeah right and that's a real story that's a fact and so if you think about it how would you sell sliced bread before anybody knew it was a thing like the value prop on that's kind of hard to articulate, right? Yeah. And, Pro and so <laughs> but that's probably where sandwiches got famous too, or well, I think sandwiches have always existed. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. But I mean like a sandwich or a soup, like there's only two food groups, soup and sandwiches. <laughs> what about right? salad? So sandwiches have always existed. You got Genghis Khan, like packing on a meat patty, um, riding some yaks over in the <laughs> middle East. I'm sure. Right. Like they've, they've, sandwiches have been a hamburgers. Yeah. That's been done a long time. Ago. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> but, but sliced bread, just the fact that you can just take a loaf and deliver it in 12 parts, right? Mm -hmm. Why is that a value prop? Well, so if, if there's two products and one is a co-opting of demand, the chances of a co-opting demand product one out of three and chances of success, you don't really need to showcase too much about the product because you're co-opting the demand that already exists. But that product that you have to build demand for, it needs a Billy Mays video you need to showcase why it's a sham wow 
situation, mm -hmm. right? As seen on TV. Mm -hmm. So video content for demand gen products, critical, way more important. Okay. And the guys that typically make the demand gen product are typically the nerds of the world, the, the, the guys who are engineers, who have no marketing blood in their bloodstream whatsoever. All they know is that they can make a better product. Mm -hmm. right? There's so many good engineers and patents that are filed and so many product ideas that come up, but almost 95% of them or more never see the light of day. Why? Because they couldn't market them. Right. Right. There's always that there's this ongoing joke about what was the first profession in the world of all time. Some say it's prostitution. I say it's marketing. And and you if you can't market the best product on the market, right? And I know you you're seeing the podcast go downhill. I've made several off-color jokes. Here we go. Right. What's he gonna say next? I have no idea. But but marketing, you know, can be boiled down to four things: sell more products. To more people more often for more money and yep. if you do those four pillars and by the way the one that everybody always forgets more money yeah. raise your prices this year inflation's out of control yeah yeah the government says inflation's eight or nine percent i know you should triple that right whatever the yeah. government says just triple it and and you got a better inflation number so if the if the inflation's up you got prices up you're gonna have to raise your prices let's touch on and that for just a second sure uh would you recommend that people just raise their price, just jump it to whatever they think it should be or incrementally slow? slow. It Good. needs to be That's what I thought. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I've looked at so much data on this question. It's not funny. You have to slowly raise your prices. Mm. If you, if you go from $10 to 20, you're going to like your conversion rate will cut in half. Yeah. But if you went from 10 to 12, from 12 to 13, 13 to 15, and just kind of worked your way up there. Yeah. Over what work. period of time? Let's say, let's say we're going to raise it five bucks. Over what period of time should we raise it that five? So the two variables be, would be like the percentage of the raise mm -hmm. and then um, what type of uh, competition and product and quality and right now. So if you want to raise from 50 to 55, you can do it in one shot. Okay. But if you're going from 15 to 20, I would probably consider going from 15 to 16.99 to 17.99 to 19.99 over the course of, uh, you know, maybe three to seven weeks, somewhere in that range. Okay. It good. depends on, on the churn rate, right? So like sure. the second variable is churn rate. So the higher your churn rate, the faster you can raise the price typically because you're still going to maintain your rankings. You're still mm -hmm. going to maintain the velocity. You probably have hundreds, if not thousands of reviews. Right. Um, and, and review generation never been harder, right? Like you can't generate reviews. Vine, they charge for that now. Um, yep. So I don't really feel like it's about review generation anymore. I feel like it's more like uh, uh, customer engagement. So if you want your five minute hack today, mm -hmm. it's make product inserts, but instead of asking for a review, ask for a picture and give anybody who posts the item with a picture on Instagram, $20 to your website in the form of a gift card. I will pay you $20 if you post a picture of you using the product on Instagram with hashtag my brand name, Age of Sage. And now you're crowdsourcing your content uh -huh. and now you can figure out what resonates the best because you're already A-B testing it on a platform. The more likes that a photo got, the more Smart. likely you should put it into your marketing. Yep. And you're not telling them to go to your website. So this is TOS compliant. Yes, it is. It is. As far as I know, I haven't seen anybody in trouble. We do know that if you ask for a review on a product insert, you run the risk of them yeah. forcing you to remove your inventory. Yeah. So there's a high risk there. Definitely remove that if you're doing that currently. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Good. All right. Let's finish up. Uh, let's see. We're about, uh, let's see. We're about 23 minutes in. Why don't we finish up on the video? So back to, I have an iPhone and I want a video on my listing. What do I, what do I do? You 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 did the pull it out, unboxing. unbox, mm -hmm. shoot the video, and put an annoying soundtrack on it. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> so you probably won't need very much editing. There's two types of videos you need. One is for the product page, mm -hmm. longer form, ninety seconds. The second type of video is for the ad, and with the ad, you want fifteen to twenty seconds. You want two second shots. Give me the medium, the close up, the far away, the lifestyle the contextual banana for scale shot, product mm -hmm. in use sort of stuff. Some of the best video ads I ever saw on Amazon are now banned, but they were animations. 
and they were just simply a dog wagging his tail with dog food being hit by the tail. It was super attention grabbing, eye catching stuff. Mm. And so today, I don't think you can get away with something like that. But when you're first to market, you get away with a lot of stuff. You can bend the rules. The rules don't even exist yet, right? Yeah, I won't tell you about the, the Facebook ads that I got that, that were up for quite some time before they were banned. Oh yeah? yeah. So, I mean, like on, on Amazon, you can't even run certain ad types, right? Like you can't, if you, if you have a fat burner, good luck. Your ads are banned. They don't even allow yeah. fat burners to be advertised. Yeah. So keep, keep in mind what your category rules will, will allow or won't allow. And obviously supplements hardest thing to sell on the platform with highest costs and highest Chinese corruption and competition. Right. Yeah. But all right. So, you load the video up. Obviously, you have to have brand registry. If you don't have a trademark yet, you're crazy. If you're selling on the platform, we help people uh, with trademarks, by the way, at cool. my Amazon guy. Okay. And and so you you have three locations you can load the video. One is at the top of the page underneath the sixth photo. It will replace your seventh photo. The second is you can run sponsored brand video ads. Mm -hmm. They go directly to the product page typically. And the third is a customer video upload where you could now load this video to your competitors' listings. <laughs> okay. Okay. And yep. and and uh, you can get away with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Really haven't seen that police at all. Yep. There's also Amazon Live, but that requires iPhones, and I'm an Android guy, so I haven't really <laughs> wanted to do that. I did. So at Prosper, they, though, they don't let you do an iPhone. I mean, an Android. No, which is so dumb. Like, what the heck? Why is yeah. this an iPhone thing only? But uh, let me grab this real quick. Yeah. All right, so, back to our, okay, he's back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so on my desk here, I have the new Apple AirPods, AirPods Max. Max. Yeah. And I, and I won these when I was in Vegas just the other week uh -huh. where we were at Prosper. And I went to the casino night and, uh, you know, I'm a numbers guy, so I was thinking, how can I game the system oh. to win the raffle? Oh, you went to a casino and in the clouds, right? Casino in the clouds, yeah, yeah. okay. And so I was like, cool, I know exactly what to do. Well, when they do these casino nights, the way that they work, if it's play money, right, is they give you free chips when you go to a table. And when you're out of chips, they force you to leave the table. So what does that <clears throat> entice you to do? Get go chips. in and bet your entire chips in the first hand every single time. And and eventually you start to scale and so you started with a thousand chips and you get to five thousand. Well, if you play that statistically, managed by stats, you will eventually hit a big hand. And I ended up with uh, forty five thousand chips at the end of the night. Mm. And and so obviously, if you get to the five thousand at that point, the strategy changes and you're no longer going all in every hand. Yeah. But uh, so I did the roulette table. I did the blackjack. But then I spent most of my night at the poker table, some old, good old Texas Hold'em. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I rode my final hand that won everything. It was probably like a pocket A7 in suit or something. So it wasn't like the most best hand ever. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, I, I read the room and I was like, this is the hand, I think. So anyway, so I won those Apple AirPods and I thought about Apple because of, of uh, the, 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 the Amazon Live comment. Yeah. Um, so I haven't done Amazon Live for myself or my my clients at my Amazon guy, but but I do I do think it's an opportunity. Video content yeah. in any form, whether it's a video ad, Amazon Live, uh, on the listing page, uh, whether you're posting videos on social media, going into YouTube, the thumbnail is the most important thing you do. Right. 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 Yes. Have a great thumbnail. I actually ended up paying. Uh, like 50 bucks a thumbnail from customthumbnails.com when I was trying to get more famous on YouTube mm -hmm. and my click through rate tripled when wow. I did this. Wow. Tripled. I, that so, makes sense though because nobody reads the descriptions or the titles anymore. They simply read the thumbnail. And let's take that one step further. So you're at an Amazon listing right now. Yeah. And assuming your statement is 100% factual and I think it is, that means what? Your that first picture is the only thing that stops them and gets them to look further. Correct. So that's going to be your CTR to get to the listing. Yeah. So titles and copy and bullets and your A plus content, which indexes community, Amazon community, A plus content indexes. I proved it. Put Spanish in one alt text photo. 48 hours later, you'll see it index proof. 
Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that means wait, let's actually your, define that for everyone real quick. What does that mean that it indexes in, in case someone doesn't know? It means the algorithm pays attention to the copy. Right. And that means you should put copy in your A plus content. And then you rank for 500 it. 500 words of copy. 500 words. And, okay. And and so if if all of the things that you and I just said are true, mm -hmm. let's just assume they are. What does that mean? We're geniuses. That means, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, we're all millionaires and we're spending time building podcasts. That's right. Yeah. Living on the beach. I am a, I am a millionaire and I don't go to the beach because I'm so introverted. I stay in my house. But yeah. anyway. I live on the beach and I don't go to the beach. So, so it's it, people aspire to the lifestyle, but then they don't actually do it. It's a thing. Yeah. So it's just like having a pool in an HOA. Everybody wants to have a pool in the HOA, <sighs> but then how many people actually go to it? Yeah. So, all right. So that means this. Let's get to the conclusion on that thought. That yep. means photos are for people and text is for robots. Mm-hmm. So, but it needs to be written in such a way that it looks like it's still for people. Yes, you can still use AI to write to the people and the AI. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I did, I did a, 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 I, I did a tool of power listings by Merchant Words um, the other day. Mm -hmm. I was pretty impressed. Text come a long way with this stuff. It's about eighty percent baked copy, uh, and it's just like mm -hmm. compares like ten different listings and combines it together, and boom, there you go. How interesting. Uh, yeah, it makes and it's and it's like I I was wondering if they like plagiarize, but they don't. Like uh, I I tried to find any plagiarism in it, none. It was just like robotically created. It was pretty cool. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, uh, so, so you know, I went, when, by the way, when I went to Prosper, I was looking at all these tools, and I saw like Carbon Six buying up Zon tools and buying mm -hmm. up AMZ alerts and buying up uh, <laughs> seller tools, seller tools, and, yeah, and all these other things, and I was just like, whoa. Wow, a lot of things happening. A lot of tech entering our space. It's going to become Def a commodity this yeah, year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If if last year 2021 was the year of the aggregator, what do you think 2022 is going to be? Uh, the year of the donkey. <laughs> is that is that actually the Chinese year? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I think I think I was born during the year of the rabbit for for what it's worth. Yeah. Uh, so I guess well, I'm lucky. I think that we're going to see aggregators of of SaaS companies. I well, mean, we're I think seeing Carbon that. Six is the first one. I, I think so. And I think more are going to come to market and I think they're going to come fast. I think it's happening. We're seeing a roll up in the space. Um, and so like everybody in their dogs has a tech tool, including me. I'm, yep. I haven't even released mine yet. Uh, it's called Hybrid, and it's, it's literally everything an Amazon agency needs to run in one space. And we're taking the best of all tools on the market, but not just Amazon tools, but like think your project management tools, your invoicing, your time tracking, anything an agency needs mm. all in one spot. Nice. Plus all of the ad automation and all the cool stuff with Seller Central. So we'll, we're hoping to have that uh, finished and released to the public probably in Q4 of 2022. So if I'm driving up through Georgia, should I stop by and get a demonstration of this? Sure, absolutely. We'll do a, we'll do a demo. All right, cool. Um, we're, we have so many freaking releases going on right now. It's crazy. Like I've never, I've never had so many projects going on with like awesome, intelligent people working at the company, just doing some cool stuff. Cool. Like we just so today, time of shooting this, we actually just released Mag School, mm -hmm. which is free courses with my best trade secrets, and then you can take a test to prove you're competent in SEO, in PPC design, or account management, like running the catalog stuff. And super technical questions, like hard tests and real SOP information, right? And yep. so if you want to check that out, guys, uh, mag-school.com. We're going to give uh, a free SEO course to all of you, all the Managed by Stats listeners here. 30 of them, uh, the first 30. First 30 people who enroll in this will get the course for free. And and if you're number 31, don't worry, it's only 10 bucks. Yeah, um, we're not trying to make money on this. I just, I just wanted to put some bright price barrier in there so that people thought the certificates were legitimate. We're not a paper mill, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> so, uh, but yeah, it's way cheaper than a two thousand dollar course. Let me tell you that. And a lot cheaper than a five thousand dollar course. Yes, and those those exist, and my content's going to be better. So, because I use it, I use it right now. I I, I literally hired seventy two interns in ninety days. Wow, using my material from Mag School. And it freaking worked. That's why I was I was like so excited by the results of what we were able to do with interns from the Philippines and from mm. Pakistan and Turkey. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, if this actually works and I can specialize people and put them into these roles and take the courses, 
then frick, everybody else needs to do this too. Yeah. And then I thought there was like 50,000 jobs short in the space. And I was like, well, how do we fill them? Education systems, garbage. Yep. You can't go to college for an Amazon degree, yep. right? All these ninjas on YouTube saying, hey, follow me for content and I will teach you how to get passive income on Amazon and use drop shipping and bull crap, right? Yeah. Retail arbitrage, which is dead too. And, is it? and all of that. Yes, yes. I mean, clearly there can be some successful yeah. people out there, but if, if you are a side hustler, full-time guy, and you're like, well, I want to make a career in retail arbitrage. No, if you're no, doing no. no technology whatsoever, then the best you're going to do is 35000 gross per year. Yeah, And that's with a ton of inventory on hand and investment and hustling and going nonstop to all these places and your account constantly getting suspended because you have to deal with Amazon rule violations and trademark infringements and yada yada right so you private love it label, and recommend it Got i it. do not <laughs> private label is where it's at build your own brand solve a problem be real and humanize your your targeting of your your videos and your content and all that stuff and you'll you'll be you'll be just fine cool i have no idea what we were just talking about because i keep going down rabbit holes for you <laughs> yeah well uh we were talking about everything but uh let's wrap up the I've got an iPhone and I want to shoot a video, right? So you, I wouldn't worry too much about audio because I would do it in a quiet space. The audio on, on phones these days is actually fairly decent. And especially yes, sir, if you're yeah. going to do uh, uh, an audio overlay, uh, then you have to worry about it even less. Um, so unboxing video, get a lifestyle in there, which is like me with my blanket twirling in the sun or the snow or something like that so so i talked about the mom box the mm -hmm. age of stage box and by the way that box i demonstrated one hundred forty four thousand dollars in four weeks during last mother's day from scratch mm -hmm. zero product review generation hundred i spent eleven thousand dollars on ads five thousand of that was on one single keyword broad match gift for mom yeah by the way i hit seo rank organic number one for gift for mom three days before Mother's Day. Wow, nice. And and with one product review by that point. Wow. So people ask, is it too late to sell on Amazon? Absolutely frequently not. Yep. It's never been a better time to sell on Amazon. Is it yep. harder than it's ever been to sell on Amazon? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. No hashtag passive income on the Amazon platform. Yeah. Um, so, so I mentioned I'm launching all these different projects, right? We did Mag School. Uh, I'm launching brands left and right, right? Because I didn't want to go buy somebody else's brand. I just couldn't stomach it. I couldn't do it. So I launched Holstit, um, and it's a holster brand, holstit.com. And we're, we're hopefully days away from inking a, a million-dollar deal with the distributor. Uh, and we're going to pull this up on Amazon here in the next few weeks. And so if I was going to shoot a video for this, I, see what I you would did try. You got a holster company try. and you're going to shoot a video? I would try and put a video showing the product in use not the guns firing off might get a little trouble with that with amazon being a communist country but <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> they freaking ban even christian t-shirts like I what know. the frick like I, you can't I know. even ban you I know. can't even show catch up with jesus on amazon with an ad i had a client i i, I worked so hard to try and unban that from advertising but amazon has cucked itself yeah anyways so if i was going to shoot a video with a holster I would, I would definitely get a nat sound pop of the holster and the gun clicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, and that and you can do that with an iPhone, no problem. And you do a voice yes. memo and you just put it right in there. And that, that and I would, yeah, go ahead. I would show that click three times because guess what? A guy that likes guns is going to like clicking his gun into my holster. He's going to holst it up. So I'm not going to go down what that could be turned into. Not gonna do it. Next subject. Next subject. <laughs> Drink my water. Here. All right. Good idea. So tell me, uh, for those of us who may or may not be me, tell tell us what we can expect from this new brand of yours. They're Kydex. They're leather. There's there's Kydex, uh, yeah. and and we are gonna be developing probably a total of thirty seven thousand SKUs. Um, mm. And we're launching with the first 36, right? Lots of variations, left-handed versus right-handed, yeah. uh, different gun models, 
Um, and, and so my partner, uh, he actually owns more guns than probably my net worth. <laughs> and so yeah. like, like gun enthusiast who has like ATF creds and like, you name it? If there's if there's a certi- certificate you can have in the gun industry, he's got it. Mm-hmm. He knows all the people at the gun shows, and he's even got like machine guns and military and stuff like that, right? So I partnered up with live in California. <laughs> yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely, or New York, right? Like, yeah. Definitely those states or Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, we, you know, if you're going to go into a product business, you need two guys, right? You need a marketer and you need an operations guy. Yep. I'm the marketer. I can sell anything to anybody. He is going to be the operator and he is the gun enthusiast and he's making the products. Yep. And so the conversations I have with him is he's always telling me about the coolest and greatest thing he's made. And I'm like, cool. When can we sell it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's our conversation every single day. So and now I'm you're like, doing cool, it. How do we sell it? And, 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 and say that again. So now you're doing it. And, and that's exactly it. That's so like I put, um, you know, I'm a big fan of, of, of traction, best business book I ever read. I keep it on my desk. Talks a lot about right person, right seat. I use culture index to determine how to put people in the right seat. So, so Nick, my partner, um, I, I made him my CTO and, and then I pushed him out of that. And I, I said, cool, now you're the CEO of the product businesses. This is a higher calling. You are so freaking good at being an engineer. You need to do this full time. And right person, right seat, totally important. You got to do these things, yep. make the hard decisions, put the right people in the right places. Because if you don't, then you can't run a business. Yep. So it, it clicked now, so cool. to speak. Nice. Nice segue from clicking the gun holster to clicking in the business. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Well, good. I think we should wrap it up here. Um, yeah. One, one last free thing I want to give to your audience. Yeah. So tell us. if you're an, if you're an Amazon seller, I always like adding value, right? So mm-hmm. every free thing I give is truly valuable. Uh, I'm going to give you a free video product review personalized to show you what to do on your ASIN, your product. Go to myamazonguy.com slash ASIN. That's A S I N. And you put your product link in there and we will do a review of it and show you what you need to do from your PPC SEO ratios. Nice. What keywords you need to index, how to fix the designs, why you haven't done banana for scale, why they're not enough or correct humans in your Photoshop, like all that stuff. So awesome. thank you for bringing me on. I know I talked your head off, uh, but I think this was a great episode. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I appreciate it, Stephen. And everyone, this is Stephen Pope from My SEO Guy, and I'm Danon Coleman from Managed by My Stats. Amazon Guy. <laughs> Isn't that what I said? You said my SEO guy. Oh, crap. Sorry. My Amazon That's guy. Right. I <laughs> might as well be. I own my Etsy guy, my eBay guy, my Walmart guy. I should go buy my SEO guy now. You should. Right. Yeah, go do it. Yeah, because now go to myseoguy.com slash my Amazon guy. No. <laughs> All, right, All right, cool. Well, thanks for having me on. Thanks for listening, everyone.